my name is Ellen and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to play I'm a Believer by the Monkees on the guitar. So stay tuned if this is something that you want to learn. And just really quick if you're noticing anything different with my voice, I do just want to say I'm feeling a little bit under the weather today but I still wanted to get this tutorial out for you guys so let's go ahead and jump into the overview. Alright, so this song is going to be a super beginner friendly. Go ahead and make sure that your guitar is in standard tuning and to play this song in the original key, you do not need to use a capo. On top of that, I'm going to be showing you five different chords today. One of the chords is a bar chord, which is an F chord, but I will be showing you an alternate fingering for that bar chord. And on top of that, you only play it like a few times throughout the entire song. So it's really not that intimidating if you're a beginner. And um, on top of that, I wanted to show you four different strumming patterns as well, but one of them is like optional and you don't have to play it. And then it really just kind of goes back and forth between two of them. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into how those chords look. Alright guys, so I've gone ahead and zoomed in a little bit so we can take a closer look at these chords. Like I said, there are only five chord shapes you need to know for the entire song and we're going to start with our G chord which looks like this and sounds like this. By the way, if you don't know how to read these chord charts that you're seeing on screen right now, you can check out my beginner series, episode 3, where I go in detail on how to read these. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump into our second chord, which is our D chord, and that looks like this, and sounds like this. Next we have our C chord, which looks like this, and sounds like this. After that we have our D7 chord which looks like this and sounds like this. And then the last chord we have today is our bar chord which is F and that looks like this and sounds like this. But of course as promised if bar chords are new or hard for you, you can do an alternate fingering which looks like this and sounds like this. Uh, but just to reiterate, the F chord is used really seldomly in this song, so don't let that freak you out from learning uh, the rest of it. Alright guys, so now that we've gone through the different chord shapes, go ahead and pause the video and just take a few moments to memorize them if they're new to you, as well as transition going back and forth between them. This song in particular, the chorus goes from G to C back and forth a lot, so make sure you have that transition down. If you need help with transitions, I do go over that in my beginner series as well, so you can check that video out right here. Um, but with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the strumming patterns that I wanted to show you for this song. So let's go ahead and break down a little bit of these strumming patterns. If you're brand new to guitar, I would suggest starting out with a single down strum on the beat for every chord change. Um, I do think that this is a great way to get familiar with the song as well as practice singing and playing at the same time. Normally I refer to this as my practice pattern, but I do use this in my cover as well. So I'm going to call this strumming pattern one. So let's go ahead and just do a really quick dive into how this would look. If you have your chord transitions up for the first verse, I'll put that on screen. We're going from G to D to G, and we're gonna hold that second G twice. And so all you wanna do is do a single down strum for each of those. G, two, three, four, D, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, again, two, three, four. All right, so if you pair that with the verse um, lyrics, you can kind of see how the song comes together. So let's go ahead and do just a really quick example together. One, two, one, two, ready, go. Alright, 
right? So you basically just want to take this one down strum pattern and apply it to the whole song. Just sing through it really quick. Make sure you know where those transitions are going to happen and make sure you're aware of which word you're singing or which syllable you're on whenever those transitions are happening. It'll really help with these other strumming patterns moving forward. If you need a printable guide to go through the whole song with all the lyrics and chord transitions and all of that, I do have that available on my Patreon page, so I will make sure to link that down in the description box below as well as in this iCard right up here. All right, so once you've gone through the song with strumming pattern one, we can go ahead and move on to strumming pattern two, which as you can see is down, down, up, up, down, up, and it's going to sound a little something like this. So let's try that together. We'll go to our G chord and just play through this pattern a few times till you get used to that rhythm. So I'm going to count us in, you hop in whenever you feel comfortable. One, two, one, two, three, four. Down, down, up, up, down. So once you have that rhythm kind of internalized a little bit, then we can pair it with our chord transitions. So again, let me put that on screen. What we're going to do is hold it once for G and D, and then hold it twice for that second G. One, two, ready, go. G, down, up, up, down, up, D, down, up, up, down, up, G. Once you can kind of get that rhythm down and you've paired it with the chord progressions, all we want to do now is speed it up a little bit to get it at tempo with the original song. Now this song does move kind of quickly, so you really want to make sure that you have those chord shape transitions under your belt, um, but let's go ahead and jump into what this would sound like at full tempo. I'll count us in. One, two, one, two, three, four. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down. And so the place that I would suggest using this strumming pattern would be for all of the verses and you can kind of use it for an intro. So at the beginning of this song, you'll hear like an electric guitar solo. I am not going to be going over that today, but if you're playing this on acoustic, you could just hold out your G for two measures. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Then you would go ahead and start singing. So um, that's where I would use strumming pattern two, but with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into our third strumming pattern. All right guys, so as you can see, our strumming pattern three is down, down, up, down, down, up, and it's gonna sound a little something like this. So again, I just want to start you guys out by getting used to that rhythm. So let's put our G chords on and I just want to have you jump in and play this rhythm with me whenever you feel comfortable. So I'll count us in. One, two, one, two, three, four. Down, down, up, down, down, up. Hopefully this rhythm sounds pretty like smooth and easy for you. Um, basically the reason why I wanted to teach you this is because we're going to utilize this in the chorus where these transitions are going a little bit faster. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put a vertical line halfway through this little strumming pattern. So you'll see down down up on the left side, down down up on the right side, and what this vertical line is going to represent is where we're going to switch chords. So if you look at the chorus, we're going to go from G to C back and forth several times to play through this chorus so let's go ahead and practice that I have my G chord on and on the left side we're gonna go down down up then you switch to your C chord down down up all right and 
for the chorus, like I said, it's just going to repeat itself for almost the entire thing. So we have G down up C down up G down up C down up. All right. And so I know when you don't have the singing in there, it might sound a little confusing how this fits into the song. So let me go ahead and do the chorus for you so you can hear how that comes together. Then I saw her face. It is moving a little bit faster than the previous strumming pattern, but you're just going back between G and C, so make sure you have that transition down pat. Um, but that's basically how you do the whole chorus, and so from there I kind of just wanted to touch on the end of the chorus. So this is where we're going to bring back strumming pattern one, which was that single down strum pattern. So you would say, not a trace, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down. And starting here, you're just going to do a single down strum. I'm in love, ooh, I'm a believer, I couldn't leave her if I tried. Alright, so the chorus is going to kind of combine all of the different strumming patterns that I'm teaching you here today, but you can just kind of think of it as strumming pattern two is the main pattern for the verses, strumming pattern three, which we're just going over now, is the main pattern for the choruses. With that being said, I do have one more strumming pattern to teach you guys. It is totally optional, but I wanted to include it because this is the way that I like to play my cover. So let's go ahead and jump into that. All right, guys, the last strumming pattern I have for you today is strumming pattern four. As you can see, it's down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And it's gonna sound a little something like this. Now, like I said, it's totally optional to play this because it is used pretty seldomly in the song, but where I think it sounds really good is at the end of all the verses. So for instance, the verse one, disappointment haunted all my dreams, okay? On the dreams word, we're gonna be holding our D7 chord. So you could just hold strumming pattern two here, which is what you'll be using for the verse anyway. So it'd be like, disappointment haunted That sounds perfectly fine, you can totally do that. However, something that I think builds into the chorus would be to use this strumming pattern four. So on the D7 chord there is where I like to put this. So we're on strumming pattern two on our C chord. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Then you go to your G chord. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Then here on the D7 chord is where you would use this fourth strumming pattern. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And then I like to just slap my strings to give that a mute because you want to like stop all the music before you jump into the chorus and that'll sound a lot like the original. So again, on that D7 chord, we have down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, mute. All right? So let me go ahead and show you how this sounds in context with the end of the verses. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down. With singing, it would sound like this. Disappointment haunting all my dreams. And I saw her face. And then you would go into strumming pattern three for the chorus. So again, this one is totally optional. Just stick on strumming pattern two if that's what you're comfortable with. But if you add this in, I think it does build the song up and it sounds really nice moving into the chorus. Um, but with that being said, those are the four strumming patterns that I wanted to show you that I do like to use in my cover. So um, let's go ahead and put everything we learned together to play through the whole song. Then I saw her face.
fun jamming out to the rest of this song with me? Then make sure to check out my Patreon page where you can unlock access to this as well as all my other fast track and play along tutorials. I'll make sure to leave a link in the description box below as well as in this iCard right up here. Alright guys, but that does it for me in this tutorial today. I really hope that it helped you. If it did, make sure to give me a thumbs up down below as well as subscribe to my channel. That way you never miss out on any other new tutorials. A special shout out goes out to all of my top patrons over on my Patreon page. I'll have all of their names listed on screen right now. You guys are awesome. And also a huge thank you to all of my patrons over on Patreon for supporting my channel and making tutorial videos just like this one possible. Here are my social media sites in case you'd like to follow me on any of those. That's just where I do fun things like behind the scenes looks at things coming up, I'll pull you guys on what you want to learn next, and I'll even do giveaways on there a few times a year so make sure to check those out, they'll be linked in the description. But yeah, that ends my tutorial today, so thank you so much for watching. I really hope that it helped you, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!